Thank you, Kim. Those elephant seals, no offense, but they're kind of strange looking varmints. If you want to check them out, there's a live cam. You can do that. Just plug in. Hey, guys. Yeah, it's kind of fun. The, the link is on our website. Well, back uh, closer to home here in Everett, there's an exhibit that opened just yesterday here at the Shack Art Center that will definitely make you feel something, whether you like it or not. It is a chapter in our country's history so shameful. I didn't know I was Japanese until I was nine years old. <laughs> we should never forget. I came in this morning, um, springs tears to my eyes to think that, you know, this is something that we worked on to honor our family. Husband and wife artists Jan and Chris Hopkins exhibit Americans Interned is a visual narrative of what life was like for Japanese Americans during World War II. For me, it was sort of personal. I felt like, uh, all my life, I felt like I had lost my identity. Most of Jan's family was sent to a camp in Idaho. Chris painted portraits of many. This is Jan's late father. You know, one of the ironic things about that, too, is my father was in the Philippines fighting the Empire of Japan and her father was an, an, a Japanese American and turned and then they got out and I married his daughter. Jan's grandfather made this wooden trunk in the camp. He has some skills yeah. but it, you know he used what he could find. The show also features her mixed media pieces like Frozen in Time to represent lives put on hold. This work tells the story of Jan's cousin whose boss altered her birth certificate to say Torres. And every time the FBI came to find her, she was hidden in a closet. She spent her entire life denying her Japanese ancestry. It is both a heartbreaking and inspiring glimpse behind the barbed wire. Some unforgettable work here. You can see Americans interned now through September 1st here in Everett.